Hey, it's Nathan with Careers at Marketing.com. In this video, we're going to talk about lookalike audiences in the Facebook or Meta Ads Manager. Now, as you can tell by the name, a lookalike audience is an audience that looks like one of your custom audiences that you have made. And you create a custom audience based off of people that visit your website or engage with you on Facebook or Instagram. And I have another video all about custom audiences if you need to learn how to set those up. But here, we're doing a lookalike audience. So let's come over here, and I'm in the Ads Manager right now. And I want to go to audiences. And so we want to go ahead and create a new audience. So we'll click this option right here. And then we're going to select look like audience. And then we need to go through this little wizard over here. So we can go ahead and select our look like audience source. So we want to go ahead and select one of our custom audiences that have a list of customers or leads or people that have like taken action with our business because Facebook is going to take that list and it's going to basically create a customer avatar of all those people and then it's going to go across their entire database of users across Facebook and Instagram and it's going to find people most like the people that are on our list already. So you wanna use custom audiences of people as far down your funnel as possible. Ideally you want customers but the next best thing would be like leads or maybe people adding products to your cart or something like that. And another caveat is that you need at least 100 people in your custom audience before you can create a lookalike audience. Now, really it would be better to have a thousand or more people in your custom audience before you create a lookalike audience. So a thousand customers or a thousand leads. So that way Facebook has more data to work with. That's another thing to keep in mind as well. Like maybe you only have a hundred paying customers, but you have 2000 leads. Well that 2000 lead custom audience might provide a better lookalike audience than a 100 person customer audience because Facebook would have more data to pull from. So just food for thought. So anyway, moving on, we do have two options right here. So we have value-based sources and other sources. So I'm gonna cover both of them real quick. So value-based sources basically means that your custom audience has values associated. So when you go and you set up your pixel and your events, if you set it up in a way that it pushes the value information into Facebook, well then Facebook can capture that information and calculate lifetime value and things like that. And it gives them even more data to pull from so they can see what customers spend the most money with your business. And you can see this little message on the right hand side here. So use events with values to create better lookalikes. So Facebook would prefer data with values. However, sometimes you might just not have that type of detail. So you can also come over here to other sources. And from here you could pull in any custom audience that you have. So in my case, I wanna go ahead and use my leads 30 days audience. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for leads and 30 days right here. And again, it's bringing up the value-based audiences because it really wants that data, but I don't have it for my leads. So it is what it is. So coming on down here, we have select audience locations. So of course you wanna select the location that your audience is in or where you're gonna be advertising. So in my case, I'm gonna search for United States. And if you want to, you can add additional locations as well. And if you do this, your look like audience will contain people from both locations with people that look most like your custom audience. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it at United States right here. And then we get to the point where we gotta select the audience size. So you can see right here that we can select a 1% a audience. So this would be the top 1% of people on Facebook and Instagram that match our custom audience. And we could bump it up to 2%, 3%. And you can see that the audience size gets bigger, you know, the bigger the percent goes. And at this point in time, Facebook is recommending audiences at about 2 million people in size. So if you're advertising for the United States, a 1% look like audience is good enough. But if you're advertising to another location that might have a smaller population, you might need to bump up the look like audience size in order to get to 2 million person audience. And of course, sometimes there's instances where your audience will never be 2 million people because there's not 2 million people that need the product or service that you're trying to sell. And so if that's the case, you can narrow your audience down when you're creating your ad sets. And I'll have another video on creating ad sets that you can check out if you need to learn how to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this at 1%. And I want to address this little drop down box right here. So you can create multiple look like audiences at the same time with different sizes. So I'm going to go ahead and select three right here. And so what this will do is it'll let me create three different look like audiences. So it'll have one that's the top 1% of people that look like my custom audience. Another one that'll have the top one to two people that look like my custom audience. And then I'll have a third custom audience that might match the top two to 4% of people that look like my custom audience. This gives me a lot more targeting options then and can give me some room to grow and scale my campaigns. So then I'll just go ahead and create an audience here. Now I can see that Facebook or Meta is populating these audiences and as soon as they're ready, I can go ahead and use them in my advertising efforts. And these lookalike audiences are a great way to get cold traffic into my funnels. And so that is it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, I appreciate any sorts of likes, comments, subscribes, and or check out crazymarketing.com. And I hope you have a great rest of the day.